Hi, and welcome to Cooking with Candyware. Today we're going to talk about basics with working with uh, Fimo. So, what I would suggest first picking up is something you'd want to work on. I use a tile. You could just pick this up at a hardware store. It's really easy to work with. Uh, if you don't have something like that to get started, maybe something as simple as um, a piece of paper, something that's clean would be good. But if you're working with a tile, the first thing you need to do is clean it. So I would suggest to get baby wipes or even a hand sanitizer, which I use a lot when it comes to cleaning my hands. So first you want to clean the tile. biggest pet peeve I have is um, just dust and hair getting stuck in your clay so you want to make sure that your hands and your workspace is really clean you'd be surprised how much dust can end up in something like white clay so once you do that you want to take a Kleenex and then just wipe that off because if the tiles not dry then everything will slip on it There we go. So at this point you would make whatever you'd want to make but I'm going to get into talking about uh, a couple different brands. Oh, let me move this up a little bit. A couple different brands that I use um, for making liquid clay and you would use this for things like the inside for the tea and um, and the donut, the icing. So the two different brands that I uh, use for different things would be the, the Liquid Fimo and then the Liquid Sculpey. So I find the Liquid Fimo uh, is a little less viscous. It's, it's easier to come out of the container than it is the uh, Liquid Sculpey. Uh, so it's a little bit thicker. So depending on uh, different looks you'd want to do, like the um, like if you wanted to make let's say two different colors inside your um, your tea, you definitely want to be using the um, the liquid sculpey just because uh, it'll sit on top of each other. Whereas with the with the liquid fimo, it'll just sink. Uh, when you're working with this, what you would want to do is uh, take any type of your um, your clay, let me just bear with me, so you, you would take some of your clay and rip it up into little chunks like this and then you would put it inside uh, whatever container you would use. I would suggest picking up um, either a container like this or like this. You want a hard plastic, anything too soft will actually, the uh, Fimo or the Sculpey will actually eat at it, so you'd want something hard. So at this point you would you would add in so you would add in your clay and you'd add in uh, depending on um, what brand you like using or what type of look you're looking for you would add in either types of clay and then um, then you would add in one of your uh, chalk pastels so depending on what color you're doing I'd use. Um, a sepia color for certain types of um, tea but anyway so you would add that all in and maybe even some scent depending on what you're looking for and then you'd use a tool I love using this little tool which has a little um, pointy edge and then uh, more of an edge to push down which I find to be great to mix up the uh, my liquid clay um, or you could even use just a popsicle stick or a toothpick and you would mix that all up, add in some scent and then you just keep um, mixing until you get to the consistency you're looking for. So something like this which you can see is really thick. This would take a lot more um, of the clay and less of the liquid clay that you would be adding in. And then just another, some other colors that I make in here. I need to make more. But anyway, so you get the idea. So then, like I said, you would end up with depending on what you're looking for, uh, different ways of using 
liquid sculpey. Anyways, hope that was informative. See you on the next tutorial. Have a great day.